when our reporter Felicia went undercover as a badly dressed shopper earlier, she mentioned that age could have played a factor in how she was served in stores. No surprises there, as other Singaporeans share similar sentiments. They won't provide you good service when you look too young or you don't dress well. Basically, they are stereotyping us, lah. So they might think that uh, the younger shoppers do not deserve good service, lah, because they don't have money. I suppose the purchasing power do correlates to age, right? But you know, a lot of our students now, kids, kids now, have a lot more pocket money than the working class sometimes. So you never know. I think the shop assistants should be wise enough to know that. So it's not really the age anymore. Um, definitely, I guess. Yeah, because um, I guess being young is kind of associated with having less spending power. So that might that might that might be a factor. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it definitely does. If you're if you're older, then obviously you have much more spending power. They know they're a serious buyer instead of uh, just. Teenagers who window shop, yeah, so they probably treat you more seriously. Yeah. Even social etiquette teacher Christian Chua has been through a personal experience where he was treated differently because of his age. I look forty-two. I don't look forty-two. I am forty-two this year. So you can imagine when I was in my early thirties, how young I looked. I had very serious intention of purchasing a certain model of a luxury car, and I, I dressed well, and I gave them a hint. There was a serious buyer by sticking my checkbook out of my back pocket. But still, I had a very um, lukewarm reception. Um, no one came to entertain me. They just gave me the prices and said, I'll browse on your own. So obviously, I wasn't in the mood to purchase that brand of car. Yeah. Okay, depends on what kind of shops you go into. Service staff probably would think that um, if you are a little bit older, you probably have got more bargaining power, and because of that, they probably think that the chances of you buying is much higher. Whereas somebody, let's say, like a teenager or somebody much younger, if you walk into a store and let's say it is a designer's wear, then chances of them picking up something it's less likely. So because of that, you know, they tend to judge. Again, I have to say that that's wrong. If how old you look affects the service you get in stores, things get even worse if you're shabbily dressed. And it seems most Singaporeans are already known for dressing way too casual when they go out. Pretty common, the usual Havanas and singlet and shorts. Too casual, you think? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Extremely, actually. Extremely, Extremely yeah. casual, yeah. Sloppy sometimes. Sloppy. Yeah. Wearing sleepers and uh, casual. Too casual? Not too casual, but I mean, it fits their, um, this weather. Age and dressing aside though, sometimes it's the customer's body language that lets the service staff know if you are interested to purchase something. Christian and Surly explain. One of the most obvious ones, ones are when the sales staff approach you and you fold your arms, then you're in a very defensive position. So um, you're not open to what she's saying. So after he or she is saying, so after a while, they might just give up. And the other style is that uh, the men like to put their hands behind their back when they are browsing. That shows that they're they are just browsing. But a serious buyer will probably pick up the things and examine the products closer. And when they ask questions to the sales staff, they ask very, uh, very defined questions. A lot has got to do with body language plus your facial expression and all that. Usually, if you are interested, you tend to pick up something, you look at it and, you know, and then you probably flip it, look at the price and this kind of body language will tell you that the person is keen or at least have an interest. The other thing is probably you just browse around, you look around, you don't even touch anything or probably you just flip a little bit. That will probably give them the signal that if they're not so keen, they're just browsing, probably window shopping. Um, I guess this would actually indicate to the salespeople. Ideally, people would like to believe that they should be given top-notch customer service despite what they wear or how they look. But of course, in reality, it's often not the case. And as we've heard from experts and Singaporeans, it's an issue that can't be helped. Hey, we, are, we are paying customers. Yeah. They, they, sh they should serve us, no matter what. regardless of uh, what we wear. Okay, so it doesn't matter, like, even if I'm shabbily dressed, they should serve unless, me. Uh, we go, unless we go in there and make a mess, and bring mm -hmm. food and drinks in, spill all the place, okay, uh, you chase me out, this. It's not a problem. But yeah. Yeah. This has been Point Blank.